Hey everyone, welcome back to The Road to Superman. This is episode 50, and I was really hoping this episode would have been in a few days time for a trailer breakdown, but Gunn has decided to post some breaking news a few hours after my video went live. So today we are talking about the very exciting news that James Gunn has revealed, which is that Crypto the Superdog is in the Superman movie, and he has posted a video of Superman and Crypto looking down at Earth. So on Twitter, Gunn tweeted out, Crypto arrives on screens in Superman this summer. Crypto was inspired by our dog, Ozu, who we adopted shortly after I started writing Superman. Ozu, who came from a hoarding situation in a backyard with 60 other dogs and never knew human beings, was problematic to say the least. He immediately came in and destroyed our home, our shoes, our furniture, he even ate my laptop. It took a long time before he would even let us touch him. I remember thinking, gosh, how difficult would life be if Ozu had superpowers, and thus Crypto came into the script and changed the shape of the story as Ozu was changing my life. What better time to debut the not so good good boy Crypto than adopt a shelter dog month. By the way, Ozu today is fairly often a very good boy. Hashtag Superman. Now, I love that caption because you feel the love Gunn has for Ozu and this movie. And with this caption, he posted a photo of him and Ozu and another photo of Superman and Crypto from the comics, and then also a video of Superman and Crypto looking down at Earth from the Superman movie, clearly inspired by that Superman art. And wow, I actually love love this. I've always thought crypto in live action would be cheesy and out of place and not work in a real life situation, but this isn't real life. I need to keep on reminding myself this isn't Cavill's Superman who was set in a real society, who's meant to be grounded. This is a more comic accurate Superman where they explore the fantasy side a bit more. There is room for both, so this doesn't bother me at all. And I just love this shot. It doesn't feel like it should work, but I just love it. People always describe dogs as man's best friend, and Superman has his best friend in Crypto. Seeing that dynamic on screen is actually going to be really sweet and warm us to both characters, and we have never seen this in live action before. And hearing Gunn's comments as to why Crypto is in the movie, based on his own experiences on adopting a dog, just makes me feel closer to Crypto and understand why he is there and how he can enhance the story. Now let's take a look at this video in a different way, not at the character announced, but in instead the visuals as they give us a clue as to how the film will look as well. So we can see very bright and vibrant colours. The red on the cape is really strong and the gold on the back just looks amazing. And the sun on the shoulders really give this more bright and optimistic vibe to it. So we can expect the movie to have similar visuals to it and that is great. I want a bright and vibrant Superman movie where the visuals look incredible. Now my only issue with this, and I don't want to be too nitpicky, if this is just for a promotional photo for this event and not actually in the movie, but it does feel like they're on a green screen sitting on a fake moon. For me, if I was able to change this, I would really work on making the shots feel less flat, which is unfortunately something the cinematographer seems to like to do, but the more depth there is to it, the less fake it looks. For example, add some dust to the moon to feel less perfect or plasticky, so it feels like they're actually sitting on a textured surface. So this is an issue if this is a still from the movie or a promotional photo of how this scene will actually look. Because if it is, then the movie is going to look very fake and cheap, which is not what they want to go for. I want to be absorbed into this film, to not think about bad CGI. And with Gunn making it clear how he was able to send shots over to the VFX team during production, I was hoping for something better than this. But that's only if this is something that will be in the movie. If this is literally just for promotional purposes, then that is fine, no worry whatsoever. And I think it is. Superman, Crypto and the Moon are just images, and the Earth rotating is a video. So I am 99% sure that Gunn asked their creative team to create a little piece of video art for Adopt a Shelter Dog Month based on this comic book art, and this is what they made. They used some assets they had of these characters and made this art, and I see no issue in that. So whilst I get people's concerns, and I'm sure there are weird people out there loving that this looks fake, I really don't think you can judge the movie on this. 
I think it's clear that this isn't a still from the movie, just a little promotional video to show off crypto for the first time based on comic book art which connects this movie to its roots even more, whilst also raising awareness for Adopt a Shelter Dog Month. And I just love this. Honestly, you guys know how much I love Snyder's Superman, but that doesn't mean the next Superman has to be serious and grounded as well. It also doesn't mean a different take can't be equally good, if not better, just because it's not serious or grounded. The beauty of these movies is that these are adaptations and interpretations of these characters. I absolutely love Snyder's take, but I also love the idea of a brighter and happier and more fantasy style Superman as well. So this style of Superman movie isn't automatically bad just because it's lighter. We need to wait for the final product. But based on this stuff, I'm so loving this. Now Amari Daniels on Twitter said something I really agree with. He said that this would have been the better first reveal for the movie, and I completely agree. That first image seemed to be sending off the wrong signals, whereas this one feels far more filled with hope. This reminds me of my childhood and the magic that superhero films had. This should have been our first look at the Superman movie. Now what this video has got me thinking is, is Gunn setting up for a Superman teaser at New York Comic Con, which is right round the corner? Or is this all we are getting between now and Brazil's CCXP in December? I think either are valid outcomes with this. It could could be the teaser to get us prepared to see Crypto in the Superman teaser coming out at New York Comic Con, but it could also equally just be for the Adopt a Shelter Dog Month and be one of the only things we get before December's CCXP. The answer you get really depends on who you ask, so if you think you know the answer, let me know in the comments below. Now I have to say, I just keep on looking at this video. There is something so warm and magical and peaceful about it, it really brings me back to my childhood and I'm so grateful for that. Now it could be terrible in the actual movie, but for the time being, I love this. I've said that about five or six times now, but I really do love this. Everything this shows is what Superman should be, and I don't know how else to describe it. You have this man just trying to do the right thing, looking at the world that relies on him so much, with his dog looking up at him. If you have ever had a dog, they will look up at you like Crypto is, and that shows the connection these two have. Have. It's simple, but so effective. I just can't wait to see this in the movie and everything this film has in store. I'm just really hoping they give us the trailer soon. I want to watch it so many times and then break it down here on the channel. We're getting so close now and hopefully the promotion starts to ramp up soon. But let me know what you think of this crypto announcement in the comments below. But that is all for today's episode of The Road to Superman. Thank you so much for watching. Please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on post notifications so you never miss an episode. I hope to see you here again soon. So until then, have a great day. Bye.